Hey, this is Nick with Red Ox Insurance. I've been getting a lot of calls from folks who are trying to get set up with their box truck business with with Amazon Relay. And, and one of the most frustrating things for me with Amazon Relay, and it's even more frustrating for you as a trucker, is getting set up with Amazon Relay, meaning their requirements for you to have your authority before you can even apply. Because we all know before you get your authority, you have to have insurance. And before you have insurance, you have to have a truck. And there could be about a two-week delay from the time you get your truck to get insurance, to get your authority, to get set up with Amazon, to get moving freight. And a lot of folks don't want to spend five to six hundred to seven hundred dollars a week renting a truck that they're not even operating right now. So I'm getting calls trying to, from folks trying to figure out how to get around that. You know, can they start an insurance policy with a made-up VIN number with something other than a truck that that. Uh, you know that they're not that they don't even have in their possession, and I tell you, it, you know, how you like that? The answer to that is no. Like I'm not going to write you a policy for a made-up VIN number or for a VIN number that's a, for a truck, a 26-foot truck that's sitting at Penske, um, because Penske is going to rent that truck out to somebody. If it's not you, it's going to be somebody else, and somebody else is going to have insurance on it. So what's going to happen if you start a policy for a VIN number for a truck that you don't have and then the person that really has the truck that really has an insurance policy has a claim and now you got two insurance companies insuring the same vehicle insurance companies aren't going to like that so listen I mean it, it, it it's just the cost of doing business it's the cost of setting up your shop you have to take into account that you might be renting a truck. If you're not going to buy one, you might be renting a truck for a couple weeks before you get set up with Amazon Relay. There's a couple things you can do about that. You can work interstate, meaning work within your state. You don't need your authority to work within your state. Uh, so you might be able to get on some other load boards to work within the state. And again, get uh, as I just mentioned, load, load boards. Don't wait for Amazon Relay. If you've got your authority, you've got your truck, and you're now you're just waiting on Amazon, and you don't want to sit around, then get on other load boards. Get on DAT. Whatever load board you want, try to get some work. Try to get rolling before you actually get set up with Amazon Relay. And even after you get set up with Amazon Relay, you should have access to other load boards. Because what if you take a load from your town USA to St. Louis, Missouri, and then you're sitting in St. Louis, Missouri on the Amazon Relay load board, and you don't have anything getting back or going somewhere else. So get on DAT and see if you can uh, move some freight back home or somewhere else. Make money. Do what you have to do. But please understand, it's part of what your startup costs are, is getting that truck, getting it insured, getting your authority, and then getting set up with Amazon Relay. So that might be your second biggest expense. I mean, the first being the down payment for your insurance. You have to understand that that could be three, four, five thousand dollars, depending on who you are and uh, you know what that percentage is that you have to pay down. And then your second biggest cost may be you know renting a truck for a couple of weeks before you actually get set up with Amazon Relay. So just take that into consideration. I know there's some agents out there, and I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus that that might try to you know create a loophole for you to get insurance but uh, you know they're putting their license not maybe their license but their appointment with that insurance company at risk uh, and your insurance policy at risk so you know don't do that just do what's right come up with that money before you start this business um, don't try to take shortcuts thanks